Good evening everyone. In today's class I just wanted to tell you guys about binary coded decimal. You might just say that you have you are all able to convert binary to decimal by the decimal to binary hexadecimal octal. You are all very fine with it. I am very happy about that. But the next thing you need to learn is the binary coded decimal. Binary coded decimal is slightly different, not slightly different actually. It's very different from your normal binary number. So, what actually happens when you are writing a binary number? If you are writing 1, you are writing as 0, 0, 0, 1. If you are writing 12, if you are writing 12 in binary, just tell me the conversion. That is 10, 0, 10. 0. This is 12 in binary. The same thing in a binary coded decimal, what you will do is, you will write the binary for each and every digit individually. For example, you have 12. I will write down for 2 individually which is 0, 0, 1, 0 and this is 0, 0, 0, 1. So this is the binary coded decimal for 12. I will write down for 1 individually, 2 individually. If I have a 3 digit number, I will write individually for the 3 digits. So in a BCD, the maximum single digit that is going to come is 9. The maximum that is going to come is 9. Beyond that you won't get. So, this, keeping this in mind, the additions are done in a binary coded decimal. In this uh, session, let us just add, let us just add two BCD numbers. Just tell me two numbers in which sum is, okay, I'll just first, first I'll tell you in which sum does not exceed 9 and then I'll tell you in which sum exceeds 9. Right. So, the first number I'll take is, 12 plus 14 which will be 26 in decimal I just wrote this so that it will be useful for our confirmation purpose otherwise I will just see 12 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. 14 is 0, 0, 0, 1 and uh, 0, 1, 0, 0 so this will be 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1 plus 1 is 0 with a 1 carry so 1, 0 0, 0, 0, 1. So, 0, 0. So, this one is the BCD of the addition. Are you all clear with this? This is nothing but 12 in BCD. This is the equivalent of 1, this is the equivalent of 2. This is the equivalent of 1 and this is the equivalent of 4. We just wrote them in BCD and then we are adding it using our simple binary addition principles. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1 is, you will write down 1 down, you will write down 0 down and you will carry 1. See, 1 plus 1, you will write down 0 here, you will carry 1 there. Right? So, the answer, if you convert it into decimal again, just for your verification purpose, it will be 2 and 6 in base tense system. This addition is very simple and this much, this sure that he won't be asking in your exam tomorrow. So, we'll have to use, we'll have to learn the place where it exceeds 9. For example, I'll take this into consideration. See. I have, I have uh, 12 and I have uh, 18. Let us add 12 and 18 guys. See, here it is becoming 10, which means it is exceeding 9. So I will take this example. So that just to exemplify where it exceeds 9, what to do? This is 10 and this is 3. So your answer should be 30. Just for your verification purpose, I wrote this aside. Now let us do the BCD calculations. So 12 will be 0, 0, 0, 1 and 2 will be 0, 0, 1, 0. Now for 18, write down 0, 0, 0, 1 and 8 will be 1, 0, 0, 0. Right? Sure with this? This is the equivalent of 1, this is the equivalent of 2, this is the equivalent of 1, this is the equivalent of 8. Right? Now, 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus 0, 1, uh, 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus 0, 1, 
1 plus 1 is 0 here and 1 carry. Right? Now, 1. This is all 0. So, this is the BCD that has come as the answer. Now, this 1 is into 2 power 0, into 2 power 1, into 2 power 2, into 2 power 3. Just I wrote like that. So, this sum will be 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 which is greater than 9 which is invalid in a binary coded decimal can you write this as see 2 and that is 10 can you write 2 10 that is wrong you cannot write that in a bcd if a number is exceeding 9 you have to split that into 2 and only then you can write so you will add 6 to the uh, to that that uh, um, flip flop terms where the sum has exceeded 9 right see here here it is exceeding 9 so you will add 6 6 is 0 1 1 0 right convinced so you will add 0 1 1 0 here which is 0 1 plus 1 is 0 with a 1 carry Again 1 plus 1, so 0 with a 1 carry. Again 1 plus 1, so 0. Again, here you have uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, right? You will carry this 1 here. Got it? So, the overall result will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So, you can add these two zeros if you want. I hope you are clear. Just if you are stuck here, just remember that the whole thing here, it got a 1 carry. So you are adding this 1 to this 0 left, left mode digit there. So it will be 0, 0, 1, 1 is nothing but 3. And 0, 0, 0, 0 is nothing but 0. So the total answer is 30 base 10. Total answer is 30 base 10. The next billion dollar question if any one of you has got a doubt is why do we add 6 let me just dust justify this for you you have the maximum number you can represent in this four um, things is four ones right that is the maximum number you can write so this number is equal to 15 Right? And the maximum number you can represent in a single uh, BCD is 9. So 15 minus 9 is equal to 6. So by adding 6, you will remove all the possible combinations which can arrive here. That is why you add 6. So binary coded decimals addition is simple. You will write down the given number in the binary coded decimal. You will write down in two. You will write down for each uh, thing. Each um, digit you will write down separately. And once you have written down separately, you will use uh, the normal binary addition ru arithmetic rules and you will add it. Finally, if each of these terms is less than 9, you will happily leave it and write down that as a result. Unfortunately, which is definitely going to happen in tomorrow's exam if this one will ex exceed 9 you will have to rule out every combination so that it doesn't be more than 9 and you will have to add 6 to that particular block if you are adding 6 the it will get neutralized and the final answer will be 30 based in our question the final carry which was uh, which we got as 1 plus 1 we uh, carried it over to the previous block it has to be carried so binary coded decimal is very simple you will just have to write it down first and then carry out normal binary arithmetic procedure so this is good luck for tomorrow's thing in the